picture. A victim of domestic violence is not sick. She doesn't need to take her sick leave. They're not taking a holiday, so annual leave certainly doesn't apply. And they're not grieving, so bereavement leave isn't what they need either. They're meeting with police. They're giving statements and providing evidence. Specialist police who work the hours of nine to five. They're seeing their, school, their children's school teachers and counsellors, meeting with them to ensure their children's lives are unexplainably disrupted. Schools who work the hours of nine to three. They're making arrangements for schools to, for their children to move schools and start safely in another location. They're viewing new accommodation options for themselves with real estate agents who work nine to five. Or they're meeting tradespeople at their homes to upgrade securities and locks and Im implement more security options, tradespeople who work regular hours. They're seeing their caseworkers preparing for court attendance and making safety plans, caseworkers who work nine to five. They're making lawyer appointments to ensure that their children are kept safe during this period of disruption, lawyers who work nine to five. And then when all the mechanical things are taken care of, survivors then attempt appointments of their own, psychologists, doctors, forensic evidence documentation, all who work the hours of nine to five. Bearing all that in mind, without access to paid leave like the 10 days we seek, a woman would then have to face the prospect of doing this with some other leave entitlement or to hide the truth of her situation from her colleagues or superiors, keeping the shame game alive and telling society that this should still happen behind closed doors, or they rely on the goodwill and generosity of a generous boss. Or the worst scenario of all that we should all be ashamed of is that they stay in the relationship because the burden of trying to do all this, supported unfinancially, is too overwhelming. We need to ensure that we are supporting those who need it, but we are sending a message to our communities, to our workplace and to our society at large that we no longer accept that violence happens, and this is one clear indicator that would. The workplace entitlement would be available to all employees if they or an immediate family member experience family or domestic violence. And as Bill Shorten has said, we recognise the need to improve workplace support survivors of domestic violence. Deputy Speaker, I support this motion and I encourage those on the other side I to do the same.